Hi, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. Today I'm going to talk about coloring embellishments using Copic markers. I got Copic markers, a full set of them, collected them about two years ago now, um, knowing that I am a colorist at heart and I really like doing artsy type things like uh, the coloring books. So I collected the Copic markers and then thought, okay, I've spent a lot of money on these. How else can I use them? And with experimentation, I have discovered that they work very well for coloring ribbon. So you can see here that I have collected up a selection of white ribbons of different widths and different types. I have used a totally Tiffany bag that I've talked about in other videos to store all of my ribbons. I have found that Copics work very well on those. I have found that they adhere very well to rhinestones. So my main rhinestones that I focus on buying whenever I buy them are clear. Pearls. They work lovely on pearls. And so I have sheets of pearls. Um, I find uh, good prices on bulk pearls, like 1500 plus pearls on eBay. and white, clear, or silver sequins work very well for coloring. This is a set that I got called Doodlebug Sequins in Lily White. So what I do is I, when I travel or, or I'm doing crafting, I have small cutouts of, of these items that I bring with me. I try to pre-plan what I'm going to color. I then use my color matching guide that I have written an article on. And I'll take my marker using my craft mat. I leave the item on a plastic, if it's on a plastic because it's got adhesive on it. You just take and color your item. No real strategy to that. If you let it dry and you add another coat, it'll make it even darker colored. And then I just set it aside and let it dry. So that was a pearl. Here is a rhinestone. Rhinestones take the color really well. So there you go. I've only got one. If I only need one, I, I tend to not pre-color. Um, if, you know, I've had my girlfriend come over to my house and use my markers and she will pre-color hundreds of these items, but that works well for her because she doesn't own any Copic markers. And I can tell you that she has colored hundreds and hundreds and has, I still have not had to refill like this color right here. This Copic marker is R29. It is a, it's a great Christmas color. I use it all the time. I have never had to refill it. Sequins are a little trickier, so what I do with a sequin is I take a, a piercing tool, put it in the middle, and then you can just go ahead and twirl it as you put the ink on. You now have a colored sequin in a matter of seconds, and I just set it aside and let it dry. That was with the brush tip. Now for doing a ribbon. I cut out a piece. I use the um, the wedge edge and I line it. Soaks up the color very nicely. Make sure you get it through good. You can flip it over and do the back side for good measure, especially if you're going to do a bow. And then the marking that's left on the mat just comes right off. Then you just set your ribbon aside and let it dry. That is as easy as that. And that's how fast it is for me to take my, my white and clear embellishments and color them any color I want. I, I highly recommend if you have any Copic markers that this is a strategy you consider, especially if, like me, you're in a very limited space. I have saved so much space by only keeping a stock of white and clear items like I've just talked about today. Thanks for watching.